outside the building there in Toronto, Jurassic Park, they call it. Kyle Lowry came back for the final four games of the regular season. Paul Pierce is already stirring things up. This is DeMar DeRozan past Pierce. Very slow start offensively for both teams and pretty good defense on both sides. Absolutely, and I, I thought uh, Wall and Bill did a, a very good job defensively. Well, offensively, they were kind of poor, but Paul Pierce definitely picked up the offensive slack. Second quarter, Pierce heats up a little bit. At one point, he hit seven of nine Wizards points. And it was everywhere, inside, outside, pull-ups, poised. He hit 10 in the second quarter as he knocks down the three. Washington up by four at halftime. Third quarter, Pierce injured in the opening minute. Screen from Jonas Valanciunas, watch it again. Washington would call timeout. Pierce would return shortly thereafter. Just looked like maybe a stinger. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and this is where I'm sure Pierce is saying to Nene, hey, you got to talk, you got to call a screen because he wasn't aware the screen was there, but his shoulder's fine, Jay's still on. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> Everything is all right. Pierce knocks down the three, and it's a nine-point lead. Here comes Amir Johnson. Raptors bench scored 48 this afternoon, and without them, this would have been a blowout. It, it, go ahead, Rick. No, it would have been, and uh, they went to a small lineup for Paul Pierce before their first stretch. They had some success. Uh, but they missed the board help. They missed Nene in the middle there or Marching Gortat. Vasquez knocks down the three. Toronto back within eight after Washington had led by as many as 15. Lou William, Williams heats up a little bit. And I thought when Vasquez came into the game, he gave them a huge lift. He settled them down, got Lou a couple of shots, and but it just wasn't enough for them today. Williams had 10 off the bench. Beal off the curl. Mid-range jumper goes. Somehow, somehow he hit it, landed on his backside, and came up no worse for wear. And Kyle Lowry wasn't much of a factor in this game. Fouled out on the play. Three-point contest. Vasquez completely fearless. He knocks down the three. Game tied at 82. But time left for Washington, and they put the ball in the hands of John Wall as Vasquez does his thing. And this is not Wall's strength, the jump shot. No, it, it's not. And, and I, I thought uh, Lou did a good job in forcing him into the jump shot. And, you know, you, you got Pierce, who's, uh, you know, very hot. You probably should have put it in his hand. One more chance with a lob. Point four left they put on the clock after that play. And Otto Porter defended it well. And then nearly tipped it in. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. Uh, that would have been unfortunate. It would be a good word for that. But there's to, Nene. To the overtime, Wall to Nene, and that's what Wall does better in the half court. Yeah, and at this point, uh, Nene had played 16 minutes. It was big to have him back in the game. Five rebounds in overtime, three offensive. Added some presence in the paint. For and the Raptors just couldn't Wizards. hit a shot in the overtime. They didn't score the first four and a half minutes of it. Wound up two of 11 from the field in the overtime period. Excuse me, two of nine from the field in the overtime period. And Washington hangs on to win at 93 to 86.